All right, well, today is February the 17th, 2019, and right now at, at 10 p.m., we have a temperature of 40 degrees in the foothills of Los Angeles. The relative humidity is 72 percent. The, uh, the dew point is 32 degrees, and the barometer has dropped slightly. We're at uh, 29.89 inches, and uh, today started off as a sunny day, a uh, clear day, and within about, uh, well, I guess it was around 11:30, 12 o'clock, uh, noontime. Uh, the skies started to cloud over, and and so uh, from that point on, we had uh, light rain uh, on and off, light rain the whole most of the day, uh, uh, which was really not uh, measurable according to the uh, weather station here. However, on um, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, since the last video. Uh, Friday we uh, we recorded a little bit more rain and so that brings the uh, Wednesday through Friday total to 3.43 or make that 3.34 inches which is uh, just a hair over uh, just about three and three eighths for uh, the Wednesday through Friday uh, time period so that brings the season total for uh, the foothills here in Southern California to 25.54 inches and so we're now ahead of the, uh, uh, two years ago we had a lot of rain, but uh, it came to, uh, the total that year, it came to about 22 and a half, if I remember correctly. I only have uh, last year's totals here, but anyway, we're ahead of that uh, previous uh, couple of years ago when uh, Northern California uh, was hit very hard. So that's all good. Uh, the fact that we're getting rain is good. Uh, we're happy about that. But that doesn't negate the fact that uh, we still are witnessing weather manipulation. For instance, right here we have another a big evaporation pattern. This is created by a satellite transmitter. We have jet stream flow hooking up and moving right down into California. Let's look at that jet stream pattern right now. And uh, I've got that right here. This is the 300 millibar jet stream flow pattern. And we can see how things are moving. So we've got... Uh, high speed flow across the Aleutian Islands and there's a disruption here we see we'll take a look at that and then we have a a flow that moves up through Alaska and down through Canada and right into California and out through Arizona and, and uh, New Mexico and out that way okay now I only have a couple of these satellite maps up I could not uh, load up the rest of them there's some kind of a problem with the NOAA website so we'll just use it, uh, this water vapor map and one of the other infrared maps. So we can see a developing uh, weather system right here. This is forecast to, to uh, move out to the west here in the next couple of days. We'll take a look at the surface analysis map. This is a big weather system here. And we can see what's happened to the tropical flow here that was moving right into California and, and dumping all that rain. Pineapple, Pineapple Express flow, that's all been pushed down to the south by this installed area of high pressure, which is evaporating all this moisture we've got a low pressure system right here we'll take a look at that uh, here on the pressure maps we can see that here in the uh, 500 millibar map we have that low indicated uh, right here and we still also see the jaggies on these isobars we should never see these types of uh, features on an isobar these are lines of pressure these are isobars and these indicate the uh, pressure as in four uh, millibar increments as we move out so here's the low right here we see all these jaggies, well that's the result of this satellite transmitter manipulation around this low, which is evaporating all the moisture moving down the jet stream. So the spigot is off. Uh, typically in the old days, this uh, pattern here, we'd be seeing a lot of rain. Tons of rain. We'd be getting more rain. Here's the 300 millibar map. We see all the jaggies here. And we have some very tightly spaced isobars all throughout this jet stream pattern. Here's the low, closed low at the uh, 300 millibar level. So everything is rotating around this low and this cold air is coming up out of the Alaska area. It's hooking up and down right into our area and that's why it was uh, very cold today. Uh, it was around 47 degrees uh, during the day. We're at uh, 41 right now. Uh, and uh, so in the early morning it was around 50 and then it got colder as the day uh, wore on. So I think it got down to 46 at around 4 o'clock, 3 or 4 in the afternoon. 
So here again, once again, we see these jaggy lines. If we go back to the satellite map here, we can see the uh, what's happening once again, the Northeast Pacific water vapor loop. And we see this big void, and there's no water vapor in this uh, uh, this area right here, and that's because of this satellite manipulation, this transmitter manipulation. It's evaporating the water, the water vapor, on the jet stream, and that's why we're not having any rain right at the moment. There was a forecast for snow down at the uh, 1500 foot level. If you look at the uh, western U.S. Uh, infrared loop, we can see that low spinning right there over the uh, Nevada and Utah area. And notice what's happening over here. All this moisture moving towards this low is evaporating in this, uh, this area of high pressure, higher pressure right here, this big crescent-shaped uh, high pressure zone. That is evaporating all the moisture coming down on the jet stream in this zone right here. Normally, all this water vapor would be moving right towards that low because higher pressure always flows to lower pressure. But uh, as we see in these maps, the manipulation is preventing and uh, disrupting some of the basic uh, fundamental laws of ther thermodynamics and pressure. This is, this is uh, abnormal. We should never see this type of behavior. And this is uh, the reason why we don't see these maps on mainstream fake news television. And notice the uh, right angle here on this uh, vortex of this developing we uh, weather system right here. Let's look at the surface analysis map. And we can see that we've got the Hawaiian Islands right here. And we have a gale force weather system with 1,010 millibar pressure right here. Closed low pressure system. And this is now going to move to the west. Normally all the weather in the northern hemisphere moves uh, basically to the uh, east. Up here we have a 975 millibar storm which is going to move up over Alaska here in a day or two. We've got this uh, cold front sweeping down into the uh, southern California area right over here. Here's the low at the surface level. This is the surface map. And then the uh, swell report, we can see that we've got some high uh, swells moving in all up and down the entire <clears throat> California coast, 14 to 15 feet off of Southern California, and 10, 10 to 12 down here uh, off of uh, San Diego and, and, and uh, Baja, California. All right. So that's the report. Let's take a quick look at the, uh, this is the MODIS Today map. We have a very small sliver of data for the uh, Southern California area. And we can see uh, a lot of uh, these herringbone patterns, which are all over the map. Uh, the jet stream flow is sort of moving down in this direction. But there's also uh, satellite transmitter manipulation going on. That's why we're seeing some of these uh, rib patterns. are, are if, if we run the pencil perpendicular to these uh, patterns, we see that this particular bunch of uh, rib patterns uh, run in this direction. And then some of the other patterns are in uh, running in different directions. For instance, right here, these are running in a different direction than these over here. And so uh, we see this pattern all over the map where we've got these rib patterns, these herringbone patterns, which are not consistent with the jet stream flow is moving down to the uh, southeast. But yet we see these herringbone patterns, which are running in different directions. And that would indicate that we have a satellite which is superheating and disrupting some of the cumulonimbus development over the mountains, and that would uh, prevent the lift, as I've shown in my playlist. If you go to the playlist, you'll, you'll see some very good examples of how these satellite transmitters are targeting and superheating cumulonimbus development to prevent thunderstorm activity and to prevent precipitation. So go to the playlist and look that up. Uh, don't pay any attention to the uh, view counts or the subscri uh, subscriber counts on this channel and everything is manipulated. It's all uh, 